the numbers 1 to 7 should be written in the small circle so that the sum of the numbers along each line is the same. Which number should be written in the uppermost circle of the triangle? Very simple question. So here this is one line. So sum of these three must be equal to sum of these three plus sum of these three, sum of these three and sum of these three must be same. Now it's very important for us to decide which number we should write in the uppermost circle. And that's what we need to find. Now instead of giving you the answer, I will tell you the strategy uh, to solve this one. So we can do one thing. Whatever number you take here in this uppermost circle will be calculated three times. How I will show you. Let's say you have two here. So when you will add these three circles, two will be part of that. When you will add these three circles, two will be part of that. And when you will be adding these three circles, two will be part of that. That means it will be calculated three times in your sum. Now, which number we should consider? So we don't know anything right now. So I am just assuming that we are putting one in the uppermost circle. Now, if I add this, what will I get? So let's add very quickly 7 plus 6, 13, 13 plus 5, 18, 22, 25, 27, 28 plus these two. So that will make 30. If we put one here. Now, if I split 30 in three equal parts, then I will get 10, 10, 10. So I'm trying to make these, 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 10, 10, 10. So I'm putting one over here. Now, how can I make, I will cancel this one because I used it. How can I make nine? So I can make nine by using seven and two. So seven here, two here. Now here, how can I make 10? I can put six, three. How can I make 10 here? I used 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. So now I have 5 and 4. So now this is 10. That's okay. This is 10. That's okay. This is 10. That's okay. But what about these two lines? Are we getting 10 here? No. Now can you get 10 here by replacing some numbers? No. For an example, if I move, if I move these three here, then here you will get 10. But is there any chance you can get 10 here also? There is no chance. So that means this is a wrong arrangement and 1 is not repeating 3 times. Now let's assume 2 is repeating 3 times. It means 2 is in the uppermost circle. So in that case this is 28 we know and 4 extra. So that is 32. Now 32 cannot be split in 3 equal groups. If you go in decimal, it is possible, but without going into decimal, it is not possible. So that means 2 cannot be in the uppermost circle. Okay. Now let's assume 3 is in the uppermost circle. If we do that, here the sum is 28 and 3 plus 3 6. So if you add 6, that will make 34. Can you split 34 in 3 equal parts? No. So even that is also wrong. Let's assume 4 is repeating 3 times. So in that case 28 plus 8. So that is 36. Yes, 36 you can split in three parts. 12, 12, 12. So let's assume 4 over here. 4 over here. Then how can I make it 12? Very simple. I can make it 12 by adding 8 here. Isn't it? So 5 and 3. Now I want to make 8 again. So that I can make by 6. Two. Last one is 1, 7. But do I get sum 12 for this line also? So I need to try something by interchanging the places. So here sum is very small, isn't it? So I will try to take bigger numbers. So I am taking 3 here and 5 here. So now this is 8 and here if you see that is 16. So I am replacing these two. Now if you see this is 12. And if you see, this is also 12. So now this is 12, this is 12, this is 12, this is 12, and this is 12. All 12. That means in uppermost circle, it must be 4. So I did not give you answer directly. I explained the strategy, how I got this arrangement. And I hope you find it useful.